Where did all the electives go? Not into Hershey's electives and cream. In the 2006-2007 school year, the Blue Valley School District consolidated or cut several courses offered at its four high schools. However, Blue Valley North High School cut a different assortment of classes. Family and consumer science classes and photography classes were cut in numbers and more students were placed into a class. However, jewelry, sculpture, and textiles were eliminated completely this school year because of low first elective choice demand. What really happened is that we didn't have the population of students signing up for those classes and the classes had to be at least 20 to 25 in a, in a class. Even the foreign language program was not immune to these cuts. We had a situation in the area of German. We had a hard time finding German teachers. One temporary solution is to offer German at Blue Valley Northwest and offer Latin only at Blue Valley North. Students can drive to the other school if they want to take a particular foreign language class, but that is not the most convenient solution if students want to take a full seven hour school day. Many problems like this arise because of the ever-changing teenage mind. In February, when almost all students choose the classes that they want to take, the principal hires teachers to teach the classes that the students want. However, by August, students change their minds and problems arise. Some courses are eliminated in early spring because the school perceives the enrollment for a class to be small. If students change their minds in August, it is too late to bring back courses that were eliminated. Research has stated that electives in schools actually make students perform better in class. However, George Bush's No Child Left Behind Act is making schools move away from elective choices and put more of an emphasis on academic courses. Well, I think it has a negative impact on uh, elective courses. We're also offering more classes to uh, enhance skill development. Improving students' test scores are more important than fostering interest in the arts. So we're not here just for test scores, although that's what gets published. We're here to educate the whole student. Even though it is perceived that Blue Valley has a lot of money, it does not have nearly as much as other school districts in the country. A lot of this is budget restraints. The district that I came from in Illinois, they spent an average of uh, 13000 per student. Here in uh, Blue Valley, what we have in reference to uh, state support is we get about $4,500 uh, per student. Even with the extra tax money, Blue Valley cannot use that money to pay for more teachers. That money must go to improving existing buildings and technology. At Blue Valley North, there's also been a gradual trend towards hiring full-time teachers over part-time teachers. Part-time teacher jobs, such as Stephanie Dowley in the Arts Department, have been cut because full-time teachers can be available before and after school. However, students will not receive the benefits of a part-time teacher that specializes in certain subject areas like jewelry. Among students, there is a belief that sports play a much bigger role in decision-making with money and visibility. It's, it's not really that big of a deal when our school gets a top place in, like, in our contest, but it's you know, a huge deal when you know, we get to the finals in basketball. Other issues have risen as well. A new program at Blue Valley High School called AVID is an optional course to help struggling students in AP courses. The catch is these students must stay enrolled in the program throughout their four years in high school. It does take away the opportunity to take the electives. Being at the back of the school is not a good thing, but there have been strides towards making elective classes more visible, especially the arts. National Art Honor Society students paint murals after school in the hallways to promote the art department. The BVN administration is taking a step forward, yet taking two steps backwards to promote the arts by disassembling the freshman, sophomore, and junior locker areas. Plans include display cases to promote the arts in these areas with the student lockers being lined up along the four hallways. Next year, visitors will see no students congregating around the lockers. Students, on the other hand, will not view the display cases except when they go to lunch or leave the school. Elective classes can be brought back as long as there's enough students that sign up for them. Sign up if you're interested in them, make them your first choice or your second choice. We had a lot of second choice students that would have made a class 42 uh, if the, those kids were available. The German program was eliminated for the school year, but if enough students sign up for the course, Principal Dr. Carter Burns will find a teacher to teach this class. Any class can be brought back as long as students mark that a certain class is their first choice. If 30 people mark jewelry class as their first choice for the coming school year, 
then BVN will more than likely find a teacher to teach this class. Next year's schedule has not been set in stone until enrollment forms are turned in. But for now, this year's students will have to stay content with what they wanted at this time last year. This is Zach Rubin. Thanks for watching.